Hi, welcome to The Quiet Zone. I'm Susan Patang. Uh, we have cookies. Uh, we're going to talk today about something that's, that's important right now. What to do when you're worried, because it's crazy out there. There's a lot of crazy out there right now. So let's get right into it. Uh, we're feeling the uncertainty. Uh, there are a lot of uncertain things happening. The pandemic is still racing around. Millions are unemployed and businesses are collapsing and it's, you know, chaos. And oh my God, chicken little, the sky is falling. Um, the stress and fear can be overwhelming. So what do we do with it? The first step is to identify and label. So what is it specifically that you're concerned about? identify and label what you're afraid of and what you're angry about and what irritates you because a lot of times uh, those emotions all go together, don't they? Um, shrink it down from being a big honking scary thing that's peeking over your shoulder to a label on a jar. I'm angry because, I'm irritated because, I'm afraid of, okay? But don't throw the jar away or stomp on it. Um, those of you who are parents will understand what I'm gonna say. Uh, you want to strap it into the back seat. You don't want those emotions to drive, okay? You need to be working or doing whatever it is you're doing at the moment. So strap them in the back seat and say, hey, you're going to hang out there till we get home. I'm driving, you're not, okay? Let them come along with you, but don't let them have control. Otherwise, they could come back and bite you harder later. Um, the second step is to pick those emotions apart. So when you do have a minute, um, think about what it was that you were afraid of or what you were concerned of or angry or irritated about. Um, ask yourself, what is it about this that's bothering me so much? Um, chances are it might remind you of something else that's happened in the past. You might be um, experiencing fear or concern about another experience or something that you remember. Um, and keep digging and keep asking yourself, like, why does this bother me so much? Um, because a lot of times there is something underneath the surface that you're not aware of, and that's called a cognitive distortion. And we're not gonna go into all of that right now, um, but what you can do to get out of it um, and to deal with it and work through it is to use logic and reason. So for example, you can say the chances of my getting laid off from my job are pretty low now. And you can also say, um, I've had to look for jobs in the past, I can do it again. Um, since I take precautions like washing my hands and wearing a mask, the chances of getting sick are lower. Um, even though the world is crazy, my life doesn't have to be chaotic. I'm going to insulate myself from that. Uh, you can also remind yourself that um, this is what it's like to be a human being. So if you weren't feeling emotions, uh, you would either be dead or you would be Spock. So you can't feel the good emotions unless you're feeling the bad ones too. So congratulations, you're a human being. Um, you just don't want to let those emotions drive, okay? They shouldn't be controlling your life. Um, you should be living and experiencing them, not the other way around. And also, last but not least, manage your expectations. So are you expecting situations to be different when they can't be? Okay, uh, again, use logic and reason. What's realistic, what's really happening and be solution oriented. How can I solve this problem? The third step is to use uh, mindful gratitude as a tool. And this is really, really super important, okay? The past is gone and the future is not here yet and it may never get here. Um, there is nothing that you can do except stay right here in the now. 100% of the time that we spend on earth is spent right now, isn't it? Think about that. So it's only logical to stay here in the now. Experience it. What's it like? What do I feel like? What is the vibe? What is the energy that's, that's happening around me? Add to the right now, gratitude, positivity, awe and wonder for things, tiny things, everyday little things. Uh, you don't have to be grateful for, I'm grateful for, the, you know, no, you can be grateful that you woke up this morning, that you're breathing. You can be grateful that you made it through the green light on your way to work. You can be grateful for the coffee that you're drinking right now, okay? Um, you can be grateful that you're watching a video that's giving you some new ideas. Um, what you want to do is create the new car factor. And if you haven't watched any of my other videos before, the new car factor 
is this. When you buy a new car, you drive out on the road and all of a sudden you see all the other ones just like them and they didn't just magically appear. Now that model is familiar to you because now you have one. So when you're familiar with something, you will start to notice it more often. Okay. And the same thing applies to gratitude, positivity, awe and wonder. Okay. So find awe and wonder in technology, in nature, in, in the fact that you are a, a biological machine that is thinking and working and breathing. Okay. That's amazing. Find the all wonder positivity and be grateful for the smallest of things. The fourth step, and this is another very important, uh, important step, is to build your self-confidence and your self-esteem. So check on your core beliefs about yourself. What are you saying to yourself? Okay. Are you saying, I'm stupid, I can't do that, um, I'm a moron, I'm, you know. Well, if you're saying things like that, um, you're going to behave that way, and that's what's going to happen. You create that self-fulfilling prophecy, don't you? Um, Check on your core beliefs also about this, your life situation or a situation that you might be in. So instead of saying, this is terrible, this is awful, I hate this, I can't do this, turn that around, turn that self-talk around, okay? So just like we were saying before about finding positivity and awe and wonder and amazement and being grateful, you can say, you know what, I've been through things that are, are difficult before, I can do this. Um, what are you telling yourself about, I'm waiting in the doctor's office, this is terrible, this is awful, I hate waiting. Or can you say, you know what, um, it's really an interesting pattern on the wall that I'm looking at right now. The lady next to me is wearing something very strange and it's funny. Um, I'm really grateful that I have my phone so that while I'm waiting, I can play a video game or text or look at Facebook or whatever, okay? Always look for the positive and always monitor your self-talk. Um, now, positive affirmations, um, I don't believe in positive affirmations in the way that you might think. As far as I'm concerned, positive affirmations are really just positive self-talk that you are using to trick your subconscious, okay? Um, and I'm sure that's how other people view it too, but I base my positive affirmations on real life events. So again, I know I can find another job because I've done it before and remember those times. I know that I will be able to handle this problem no matter how big it seems because I've handled things that were just as bad in the past, okay? Use that self-talk to navigate your fear or your anger or your irritation or whatever it is that, that you're worried about or concerned about. The fifth step is to get some guidance. Um, do you want to learn to have the confidence to manage these fears that are holding you back? Would you like to create a positive self-image? Would you like to be able to walk into a room with your head held high and a swagger so that everybody looks at this, oh, look, there she is. Would you like to manage the ups and downs of life with confidence instead of with fear and worry and concern? If so, you need my power session, boost your self-confidence and self-esteem. You will learn how to create positive self-talk and affirmations that actually work and also how to practice self-care, one 45-minute session. You get a video, an instructional video, you get a written cheat sheet with real exercises and instructions that you can start using right away, and then you'll have a 45-minute one-on-one Zoom session with me, all for $97. That's less than what I charge per session. So after this one session, you'll have the tools that you need to boost your self-confidence and your self-esteem, so what do you have to lose? This is a great way to try on coaching too. So if you feel like you have some stress in your life, you're burning out, and you want to learn a new way to handle the bullshit of daily life, you can do it for $97, get something out of it, and, ex and, and experiment and see what it's like um, before you start investing time and, and money into something that you may or may not want. So the only thing I do have to warn you is that space is very limited for these things. Um, I only have a few open sessions uh, per week for this, for this service. So what I want you to do is go to www.thequietzonecoaching.com slash shop. I know it says services on the slide. Go to shop uh, right away uh, because that's where all of my power sessions are. I actually have three of them up there right now for different subjects. 
um, go and check it out. I also have uh, work by yourself programs. So if you don't want to have a one-on-one -on -one session or you don't want to tell things to a stranger, you don't really know me, right? Um, so if you're uncomfortable with that, you can work by yourself um, with, with the one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions, the, the $39 buy it work yourself. So let me turn that off. Okay. I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, thanks for visiting the quiet zone. I hope you come back again really soon. And I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, amazing day.